everyone. Gaga Joy, Gaga Joy's cooking. And today we're going to be stuffing some tomatoes. I promise I'm going to soon be over stuffing things. <laughs> it seems like it's tomatoes or something. I'm always stuffing. Then, uh, my tomatoes are coming in, so I'm trying to find, you know, little ways that I love to use them. And this is stuff, this is actually a, a breakfast dish that I love real well. I'm taking, you know, the, I call it the guts out of my tomatoes. Maybe someone can tell me why the center of my tomatoes are just as hard as rocks this year. I've seen that when I bought uh, tomatoes in the store, but I never did have hard tomatoes like this in my garden. It's just maybe it's, well, no, because it's several kinds of tomatoes I've got planted, and they all seem to have that hard center this year. That could be the weather. We never know. Unless some great smart farmer knows that could tell me. <laughs> you really want to get as much out as you can so you don't have any moisture in your tomato. Especially a tomato that's got a lot of seeds in it. Okay. Just one, two, four. And I'll put a little bit of olive oil on them, of course. Inside and out. pepper in the bottom. And somehow or another I've got pepper in my salt today. I think a little friend must have helped me there. And I've got uh, some chives and fresh onions. I'm going to put in the very bottom. Not a whole lot, just enough maybe to cover your bottom. Tomato. Okay. Now, there's, I put a little uh, cheese now. This is my cheese add. I just put it in little blocks. You know, you could use any of the Shredded cheese. We leave cheese out. I actually just had this in the refrigerator because my grandchildren didn't eat it the last time they were here and I'm trying to use it up, so this came in handy. Okay. Now I've got the oven warming up to 400 degrees and I'm going to cook these about 10 minutes just to get them the cheese melted and the um, tomatoes beginning to cook. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, the 10 minutes is set. So I'm going to get my tomatoes out. Now, I had the oven set on 400 degrees, by the way. And I took a, a biscuit cutter and put a piece and cut it like to the size of a, the tomato and put a, a piece in each one. Now, remember, you can do this any way uh, you want to. I'm just really giving you the basics of the way I do it. Um, and the temperatures. Now this one, probably have to stretch a little bit, cut it a little bit. Okay. Now, one more. It's just a biscuit cutting 
You could use a different size or any of it. Or actually, you could just break it up with your hands if you want to. Or leave it out. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing is put bacon in it on top of the toast. That pretty good. Now, the next thing, and the last thing, I guess, is egg. You put one egg on top of each one of them. You might run up like that, but that sure doesn't hurt. Especially if you got crooked to make. There one, that one just went on down. Push it down like that. Then. I probably could have used small eggs, but I. I do love the eggs. Okay. Let's put a little bit more salt on them. Just have a little pepper. And a reminder that probably you could use smaller eggs. It probably would be a little bit easier. Okay, remember we put scallions on the bottom, the cheese, the toast, the eggs, the bacon, and we put it in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. Now we're going back to the 400 degree oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, well, I've had it in for 10 minutes and I put it on broil about a minute ago. Okay, that's a little better. You may want to leave it in there a little bit longer, too. Let's see if I can get one out. That looks good done for me. And so the white sort of slid down this way. It's wonderful. I do love this, but it has to be a little bit done. I'm going to be. So why don't we go with, instead of the second 10 minutes, go with 20 minutes. I think you would, it would work out okay. It's worth the try. You'll love it. I'll get a piece of toast, and I'm going to sit down and eat mine, and watch, keep my eye on these. Been a good day. I've enjoyed doing this. I enjoy the, anything when we have tomatoes and fresh things in the garden. Wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of parsley on top, would it? Uh, subscribe, ring that bell, uh, uh, remember to join, take care of yourself. See you soon.